For sure, for sure. I mean, That's facts. I mean, they um, did. but you said something. <laughs> I said something. I said a lot. You of said things. you said turning point, and turning point say. sounds a lot like my, my guy Ricky Starks, the man who is leading mm. the running the ropes tonight, the cardio for this evening. <laughs> My guy Ricky Stark says that WWE Talk. insults their audience, Talk. and and they, they kind of get away with it. I mean, damn, have uh, you you've been saying you saying this now? Like, I mean, right now is when the now is when the interviews come. Now is when the reporters and the newspaper articles come. Want to get your story? Want to get you quoted? Right? Because all the noise y'all making, I feel I dig it. But listen here, it, it, it sounds like. He's, he's, he's talking from, from experience here. Even though for people who haven't followed wrestling, there's people on the show that you can connect to because they're authentic personalities. And I think watching it, there's something for everybody here. So having new viewers like Nisha or someone who's falling back into wrestling, AEW provides that sweet spot. Watch it. You'll have fun. They won't have you feeling guilty. Uh, I can vibe with that. I can vibe with that because, yo, it's kind of like what, eating McDonald's. You take a bite and then... After you feel regret, fam. Like, it's like, damn. Yo, I'm just... Uh, I, I had I'm, that chicken sandwich? I'm just sitting here looking for the lie. Where's, Yo, the, where's the lie? Where's the lie? Where's the Where, lie? <laughs> where's the... Hello? Hey, lie! Yo, I don't see not one lie. Not one lie. Not never. Not one time. Not even a little bit. Not even half of one. Yo, there is no lie there. How many times are we just sitting there watching Raw like... What is this? Yeah. Now this Raw yeah. was actually pretty good. I gotta say, yeah. the entire Raw was pretty good. I thought it was well booked. And I'm gonna say that's a product of competition. Ooh. Competition make you do some things. Mm. Thingy doggies and stuffs with the S at the end. Listen, Ken, you're in for a treat if you're watching just now. Uh, Kenny and Brian was a 10 for 10 out of 10. I hear that. You're right about that, man. Um, Back to Kenny and Brian real quick. All right, that's it. That's all I want to say. That was it. That was it. Woo! It's like like AEW just keeps knocking it out of the park. They keep doing things that are just unprecedented. You start a dynamite. This is their Raw, right? Their showcase show on television. You start it with a classic, and you give us the the, the ill-finished, the... the, the, the sloppy finish there at the end, beautiful, because you want, we now we want more. The I dusty love finish? I'm mad at you about it. The sloppy finish is something different. I mean, right, right, right. right, <laughs> I, don't right, think, right. I don't think you're looking for a sloppy finish. It's never but, a fun but, time. But it's still unprecedented, right? And and, 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 and and keeping in the vibes, it's like, you're right, you don't feel that guiltiness in, 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 in watching it. You don't feel dumb. You feel rewarded. And let's keep it there. Let's keep it at rewards because... They just fucking rewarded wrestling. AEW keeps rewarding wrestling. If they didn't just bring back the fans, if they didn't just bring freedom to Daniel Bryan's contract, they just partnered up and created something called the Owen Hart Foundation Partnership. (laughs) The Owen Hart Foundation did exist. But they they do it. Well, they, they, <laughs> they formed the partnership. They formed they? the partnership. Right, 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 right. Words, words, sentences. <laughs> they formed the partnership with the Owen Hart Foundation. There's going to be a tournament likely called the King of Hearts. Would this oh. be the new King of the Ring? Would it not be? No matter what you there's, say. There's just so much to unbox in this fucking Pandora box that we just opened here. Talk about it. Because now, yeah, you get the tournament, and now we're already we're already comparing King of the Ring to Owen Hart, to Owen Hart's tournament. So let's talk. Woo! Let's do that. But Owen Hart, man, you're not gonna get his content in the video game. Owen Hart action figures, to for some may not be a thing, but for us collectors, is a big fucking deal. Who have been trying to get our hands on some classic Owen Hart memorabilia. Now we get that. Yo, this is stuff that like this is big. This it's is pretty big fucking time. cool. Pretty it's fucking really cool. 
really cool. The fact that it's coming out, like they finally got, you know, Miss Hearts OK. I forgot her name. Um, Martha, I forgot. But she said OK to it. She's down. I mean, I think it was just like an anti Vince thing. If you saw Dark Side of the Ring, you know that oh, that's yeah. kind of where they at. So. I'm just happy it's happening. I'm happy that, like, it's something that people can talk about positively. Because the, literally the last memory we have is that for years. You know, if, you know, Dusty passed, right? I mean, clearly it was not under the same cert. Clearly not under the same cert. Clearly not. <laughs> but he passed, and then there were things afterwards that kind of reflected the person he used to be, right? Or the person he was, the person you remember. Right, Dusty Classic and blah 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 and like those things kind of live on, and then like all the various donations he made to wrestling over time, like fucking war games and shit like that. But oh my god, war games! Right, like and all those like pay per views and whatever and booking decisions. But um, oh, the last thing we have from Owen Hart is his death, and then things covering his death, and that's just unfortunate and then now like this is just a really cool thing to happen for that sure, like sure. now we got like toys that reflect like a new beginning a, a turning point if you will in the like, heart and, legacy and yo we just started Thank you. this aew uh, shit related coming through yo let's talk about my eyes these toys is that creepy or what they're gonna have the aew logo <laughs> not the wwe logo Right. And that 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 alone is is yo, that action figure, good luck getting that shit. That's just gonna sell out mad quick. I'm already online. I'm Forget already about yo, it. I'm hit yo, I'm hitting up um shout outs to fucking ringside collectibles. I'm gonna get my shit. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to my guy Grim. Shout outs to Grim <laughs> <laughs> coming through related right going off. The glasses are cool. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yeah. But it is, like, in, in so now Owen Hart, like, we get to really, like, just have a whole new beginning with him. The turning point is everywhere. It's kind of like, we're, we're coming into fall, which is, like, historically the end of things, where the end is near and, like, winter is coming. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, dark times are upon us. But it doesn't feel that way for wrestling. I feel like this is the spring of wrestling. Like, we're really seeing... This growth and burst and turning point and everything's new and everything's fresh. Unless you're Cody Rhodes in New York. Oh. <laughs> Which, see, like, what I love about New York crowds, the New York, New Jersey crowd, is that we let you know how we feel no bullshit. Boo! With your Americana. This motherfucker's long you, ass cape. It's how I know. Yo, that shit was still in the locker room. He was already in the ring. Bro, for what? Tripping motherfuckers up for what? All up in the back. Just obstructing the gorilla position. Pa'ke! Pa'ke, my name. Fucking blocking traffic up fucking Madison Avenue and shit. For what? For what? For the pageantry of your Bleach Bros intro? For that? To do what? Can y'all... I mean, why, why did Brandy get in the ring and... And give them, like, flip the birds? What was that about? Hey, she's trying to be edgy, man. They got to sell They gotta sell content for that new show that's dropping. How did what that did feel to you? The Rose or, or what's uh, that? Something Rose. Um, something Rose. Something Rose. Something um, Daka Sandwich. You know what? what? Hold on, hold on. Trash! This <laughs> 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 is it is trash! Trash bag! Yo. Trash bag! Yo, Kaka I say, sandwich. you know what? Kaka sandwich. <laughs> nah, yo, that's it. HPC <laughs> of the week is going to change, right? To heels, pops, and that shit is trash. Hey, trash, man. <laughs> and we going to do that shit. Trash, pick <laughs> out this promo. Trash, man. <laughs> 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 I mean... If you're talking about what Arthur Ashe Stadium smelled like, then yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I heard from a variety of sources that, Ooh. like, expired well, we mayonnaise. There. We there, Mr. So you I'm just saying, like, it wasn't just us. <laughs> you dig? Like, it was like... Expired mayonnaise was a word, was a phrase used to describe the... Um, 
you know, how it affected your olfactory system. You know what I mean? That olfactory you call a nose, that shit was Dang. bugging out. Because it just stank. And that fucking, you saw the train ride afterwards? It was worse. No nice thing. No nice thing. COVID was all up in there. Shout out to COVID. Uh, it was Running even, wild. it was just it onion was bags. Delta was there chilling. Hot. He was having a fest, chilling with everybody Thick in that train. Onion bags. Um... um.